Well, hey, YouTube! It's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, today I want to talk about water purification. And uh, this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. I know it don't have anything to do with ammo, but as many of you know, I am a prepper as well as a survivalist sort, right? So, um, this video is really going to be one of those videos, I don't know, unless I mess something up or forget something, this is going to be kind of a one-stop shop just to make everything really clear to everybody because I hear all kind of crazy things about water purification and uh, I just want to clear some things up. And so in this video, we're going to clear things up about water purification and I'm going to show you a technique that most people find unbelievable and um, and then I am going to also I'm gonna let you know what this noise is that you hear go ahead that so <laughs> so I'll let you know why you're listening to that nonsense while I'm talking um, and uh, and so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe and if by chance you want to support me on patreon please click the link in the description for patreon i would love to have you over there we're giving some stuff away so let's get to it water purification all right let's go ahead and get a couple of things out of the way right away uh people are talking about you know, using chlorine um, and iodine to purify their water and in most cases that will probably work because what those two things do is it takes care of bacteria alright and that's a big problem E. coli um, and then the, uh, uh, the the two other common uh, uh, problems that we have though are uh, parasites and unfortunately it doesn't do a lot to parasites um, uh, parasites like uh, Giardia and uh, and then there's one with a big name called Cryptosporidium and what I'll do is I'm going to spell these out and I'm going to put them in the description for you okay so that you can look them up yourself and see and know that I'm telling the truth. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, my philosophy is and always has been when you're drinking for drinking water or cooking with water is to always boil your water. It takes care of almost all of these things. Now that may not take care of chemicals and things like this, but we're talking about groundwater, bacteria, parasites. Okay. So, um, so always boil your water, a rapid boil for one minute or boil for, you know, some people say five minutes or ten minutes. You can do what you want. I say I always go with the rapid boil for one minute, but boil it much longer. There's no reason not to. Um, for one thing, the boiling water, you have water that tastes like water and iodine or chlorine. And, uh, and it takes care of all of those things that we're typically worried about. Now there are some tactical situations where iodine or chlorine might work better if you can't have a fire or you can't have smoke billowing out for a fire then you know by all means do what you have to but know this that if you're in a survival situation let's say you're just hiking out and you get lost you make the wrong turn and, and now you know that you're going to have to find that river or a stream or a lake or whatever it was or head downhill or head downstream. All of those things, if you know you're going to get out of there in a day or two and you don't have a way to make fire or boil water, then by all means, drink the water. There could very well be a couple day delay before you get sick. So don't die out there, guys. Um, just use some logic and common sense. But uh, um, a lot of us, we run around with, I got some ice in this container. We run around with metal containers or hydro flask containers. 
you know, or, you know, I like, you know, anything wide mouth container, but just keep in mind, you have rubber, that kind of thing, this lid would have to come off in order, order to boil water. So maybe uh, this video should maybe help you decide on, maybe I should carry a metal container with me, like a canteen with the cup kind of thing, and, uh, and something that you can actually put in a fire, boil water, or cook food. So anyway, uh, I hope I, I hope I touched on everything right here. Um, I, I think it's really short and sweet um, for this one for me personally is boiling the water. Now, um, I'm going to roll in some footage of, uh, uh, first of all, let me, uh, let, let me, uh, I want you to find out what all this racket is about. Just a little fun here in the shop with Elvis Ammo, okay? Hold tight. Okay, so I picked this bird up out of the yard. I don't really exactly know what kind it is. It's a little young to identify in my opinion, but if any of you know, by all means, let me know. And I've been feeding it worms. So let's see. Oh, he spit it out. <laughs> there you guys go. <laughs> Hold tight. I'm going to roll in some footage of, uh, of boiling some water. All right. So this is uh, such an important subject um, on, uh, on boiling water. I wanted to show you this part because this is actually the part that no one seems to... Um, you can tell them about this and they're just, yeah, okay, right. Um, so they really have to see it to believe it, but these plastic bottles, they're all over the place. You can find them washed up in oceans, rivers, streams, all across the world. Um, and this is most likely how people pack in and out with plastic bottles of water. So that's why I wanted to show you this example of being able to boil water just using, in this case, it's a uh, Sam's water bottle, okay? So I've got this water boiling and uh, I just uh, I just had this lid just sitting there like that just to help keep the heat in. Now this should take maybe, you should be able to get this done in 30 minutes or so. And as you can see, the flames are licking the bottle, but the bottle is not melting or coming apart. So now I don't know how many times you can do this with a single bottle, but I do want to show you that you can actually boil water this way. Now I'm just using this an example right here. This string represents a shoelace or something like that. Um, that 550 cord right there. And I just have a nice sling knot tied around it. And the flames are steady licking the bottle. Um, now I just put it over this just to save time because I don't have a fire started. But uh, anyway, you you get the point. Uh, this actually works real good. So um, just because boiling water is so important, I wanted you to see this part. All right, so I'm gonna just take this off of here now. It's uh, it's certainly uh, been boiling for a while. Okay, so we'll just take this off of here. And uh, I wanted to show you the bottle. Let me see. So this is the this is the bottle. You can see how it kind of deformed right there at the bottom. But that's boiling hot water right there. you can see so I hope you like uh, my uh, rescue bird and uh, I I don't always do that but that one seems so healthy I don't know how it got to where it was when I found it but there it was and uh, and as far as the uh, water purification and boiling water in a plastic bottle that's one of those things that I always have to show someone and not tell them so uh, uh, 
anyway, so there is a tactical reason, you know, to maybe want one of those, you know, filter straws and the iodine tablets and the chlorine and all of that kind of thing, um, as I mentioned before. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and uh, be sure to leave me a, uh, a comment in the, in the uh, comment section. Look down in the description and uh, where my list of long words are. And I'll see you guys in the next video.